morning. Hi guys, it's Raven on my way to work. Um, so today's YouTube Pagan Challenge 2018, I'm going to do letter E for Esbots. So Esbots are um, basically the 13 full moons of the year are your Esbots. That is the time when usually witches will do spell work under a full moon um, because it is believed that that is the most powerful time of the month is under a full moon. Um, so if any of you are into astrology, guys, astrology is so important if you're into witchcraft. I can't even stress it enough. It, the moon, so every time there's a full moon, it's, it's, it's in, it's in a planet. It's, uh, the moon is in Virgo, the moon is in Libra, the moon is in whatever, Taurus, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you read up every month what the moon is in, what sign the moon is in, it will give you an indication of what it's affecting what the moon is affecting in your life and you can base your spell work around that. It will definitely help increase things in that area. Um, every month there is a full moon, but there's only 12 months, so why is there 13? Well, there's always 13 moons a year and that uh, extra moon will be in Every year is different. It's it's in a certain month that will be called the blue moon. And that's supposed to be even more powerful. Every moon, every month has a name associated to it. I think January is like the wolf moon. I think it's September is the harvest moon. There's the hunter's moon in November. So... All of them have a name, and again, if you look it up for the month, what the name is, it's associated with certain things for that month. Um, so putting your spells toward that theme, I believe will help you. So what is it about the full moon? People, Some people believe that it, it affects things, makes people crazy, and other people don't believe it at all. Fact is, the moon affects people greatly. And why is that? Well, think about the ocean. It's, it's scientifically proven that the moon affects ocean's tides. 100% affects it. Um, and we are made up of like, I don't know what the number is, 70% water or something like that. So obviously it's going to affect people. It is proven more babies are born under a full moon, more, um, more people go into the hospital, into emergency rooms on the full moon, there are more homicides on a full moon, more suicides, um, what else? A lot of women, their periods, they get their periods on the full moon, their, their bodies, um, go with that full moon system of every 28 days. Um, so it, it affects a lot. It's, it's not a bunch of crap. And um, the word lunatic came from Luna, the moon. So yeah, there you have it. So anyway, so the, um, the energy is really high during a full moon. So that's why it's really good to do your spells then because you can harness some of that energy from the moon and that's the best time to do your spell work um, another thing you can do right after the full moon the moon starts to wane or get smaller um, so if there's something you want to take out of your life or decrease you can do a spell for that and um, feed your spell for the next 
two weeks while the moon is waning. And then once it hits a new moon, when there you can't see the moon, it starts to get bigger again, that first day, a new moon, um, you can do, you could do a spell, you could do a spell anytime. You're going to get the most out of it during a full moon. But if you do one on a new moon and you want to increase something in your life and bring something in your, to your life or make something greater in your life, that's a good time to do it during the new moon because the moon is starting to increase and will obviously those energies increase things in your life. Um, a YouTuber named The Witchy Mommy, she's one of my favorites. I love her voice. She's so sweet. Um, but anyway, she did a great YouTube video on like doing monthly intentions um, with your spell work and feeding your spell every month. So when I say feeding your spells, I'm talking about meditating on them every day, morning or night or afternoon, whenever you have time. Um, putting that thought into the universe because it's it's proven what you think you become. So stop saying you're poor. Stop saying you feel like shit. Stop saying the negatives. I don't care how shitty you feel. You say, I feel great today or I'm so financially wealthy that I don't have any worries. You, you got to put that stuff out in the universe, guys. It's, it's a proven fact it works. Um, anyway, where the hell was I going with all this? Witchy Mommy. Um, she has a great video about feeding your spells. And you can do that um, not only with meditation in the morning, but um, lighting a candle for it, having an intention candle for that spell. Um, adding, oh, there you go. Sorry. Are you still going? Yeah, adding herbs to um, around the candle. Just please make sure you don't light your house on fire, y'all. Um, doing an ointment oil on your candle. And you all, just so you know, do a drop of oil. Don't saturate your candle like I did one time and almost let the fucking house on fire. Okay? Just a little bit of oil will do you fine. Um, and when you dress your candles, you do a drop of oil. If you're bringing something to you, you, you do from the top of the candle down. And if you want to release something out into the universe, it's bottom of the candle going up. Maybe I'll do a candle, um, a candle video one day because, um, I really into candle work. I love working with candles and I usually use them with every spell. Anyway, so yeah, that's your S-Bots and there's a cop and I'm not supposed to be on the phone. So I'm going to go. Blessings everybody. Have a great day.